This is Cut Up. I'm Marian, and today we'll continue with HTML. We'll start building the structure of our first website. From our previous movie, my son created Marian.html and the content of this was from HTML basic so let's rename it this to HTML basic or just basic and we'll start creating soon lots of HTML files so in order to get a bit more organized let's create a folder my first website Let's open it. And inside this folder, we'll create another one, HTML. And we'll move basic HTML inside this one. Okay, so now let's open basic HTML, which you can find on the desktop my first website html and we choose all files and we can open now basic html this is the content that we've written in the previous lesson so right now we'll jump into html comments and this is how comment looks like it starts with a lesser sign exclamation point hyphen hyphen and then you write your content and in the it ends in hyphen hyphen and greater sign okay so our intent is to replicate the website w3 schools so um we'll replicate this side over here with the menu that you can navigate through the pages that um, teach you uh, and let you discover HTML and this side over here which is where the content goes in I've also prepared a quick wireframe for you so basically this is our empty page right now and we want to have a navigation on the left side and the content that fills the rest of the page um, so we'll do this using a table which we'll learn a bit later on and the table will spawn and wrap the entire piece of content, both navigation and content. And um, then we'll have a row which sits inside the table. A table can have multiple rows. And inside the table row, we'll have two table data. One which will um, hold the navigation and one which will hold the content. Um, right now, I want to write our intent in comments in HTML and we'll continue soon after that. This would be our content, the h1 mp tag. So let's write a comment. This is our content. Okay, we also want to have our menu okay and all those is wrapped in a table so we save this file and if we open it in the browser we see that this content is not rendered. The comments are just ignored by the browser. However, it serves um, as information for us to read later on. If we, we were to write this content in a pig tag, and refresh it, we can see that this is rendered in the browser so the difference between a comment and a normal tag is that the comment doesn't get rendered in the browser 
Today we've started our first website and we've learned how to write comments in HTML. In the next lesson, we'll get to build the wrapper for our menu and our content. To help you out by creating better content, go on and drop your questions uh, or thoughts in the comments below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. I'll close this by reminding you that everyone can code. See ya!